Hey, thanks for tuning in again. This is Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Uh, we're going to create another custom function. If you're looking on Google or searching this, a lot of times people will call this user defined function or UDF. We're going to do another UDF today. Today we're going to make it super simple for even lay people who don't understand Excel at all to use a VLOOKUP. So, instead, um, we're going to show you what a regular VLOOKUP does. You should know this by now. But if I'm, I'm going to do CR152, that's our first item number here. And this, we're going to use a quick VLOOKUP. Oops. Equals VLOOKUP. And we'll take this whole table here. Oops. Excuse me. We're going to VLOOKUP this in this table here. Control shift down. F4 comma we want to get the description so we'll say column 2 and comma 0 false we want an exact lookup so there we have it we have the product and if I copy this over let's see here Oop! I need to put F9 we need to lock in F so that should work if I copy this down Okay, and then we'll say column 3, that will give us our date, control shift 3 to give us a date format, kind of a crappy date format, control 1, date, okay. Uh, and then we want column 4, which is our status, and that ought to do it. Okay, here's our VLOOKUPs, these three are looking up this, and if I change this to uh, PA251, looks like that's this one right here, it VLOOKED all, all this stuff. We're going to create a user-defined function for VLOOKING up one of these item numbers that make it ridiculously easy for people. So how about we'll make uh, one function here for the description, the date, and the status. So Let's get started. Alt F11. Here is our Visual Basic code. We're going to say, uh, actually, first of all, let's make it really easy for ourselves. We'll start off Control Shift down. We're going to give this a name. We'll call it My Table. You may have a better name for your product table or whatever. Alt F11. Here we go. We're going to make a new function. Um, go ahead and make a new module so we can clear up the space here. So we're going to say function and let's make the first one called disk, D-E-S-C. Okay, and we're going to say, let's see, do we need an argument? We do need an argument. We need to have the product number, prod num, that's fine, whatever. Okay, so how do we get started? We're going to say Let's see. Well, let's just make it real simple. DESC, that's our answer, equals application.worksheetfunction.vlookup. Okay? That's how you do any of these functions in Excel's Visual Basic. You just do application.worksheetfunction and then use your function. So, VLOOKUP, what, are we, what is our argument number one? That is prod number. So we're going to say whatever they either type in quotes or click on whatever cell that they put as their argument is going to be this right here. So the product number, comma. What is our table name? We can use the evaluate brackets to put my table for the table name. Otherwise you could put, uh, I'll show you both ways, you could put range my table. Okay, in quotes and in parentheses. We'll do it that way for this comma. What column is description? It's two. And then comma zero for exact match not approximate. So that'll actually do it, I believe. Let's try this one out. Let's say equals DESC and click on that one and hit enter. Product date, hey. Awesome. So we have equals DESC, our description function. Alt F11 here. Let's make another one. Let's just copy and paste a little bit. This will be 
let's, the next function is going to be called uh, date. So equals, let's say, d added. Our fu function will be called d added. Copy that here. And that's going to be column 3. And we'll copy that over one more time. And we'll make our final function called uh, status. Copy and paste. And that was column 4, I believe. So believe it or not, ladies and gents, we've done it. We've got our VLOOKUP right here. So let's go ahead and click over here. Equals. What do we call that one? D added. And click on the product number. Okay. There's our date serial number. But if we change that to a date format, it'll look more like it. Okay. And then equals status. And click on our product number. Hey, we've got a working thing here. Let's change this to... Uh, OI729, I'm looking right here, enter. So we see that our description function works, our d added function works, and our new status function works. So check that out. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. We just over, over simplified a simple VLOOKUP and made it even easier for our users to use their own functions for your company, for your private use, whatever. Thanks for tuning in. God bless.